So first I have to disconnect this. So I think you press down and then you it's hard to wiggle it out so you have to push with something like this and this on clips from here you can see this small tab holding onto the plug so with my set of tools screw heads and uh, all the stuff I'm going to undo these two okay so here it's a seven millimeter seven millimeter head So in here is the MAF sensor. Can you see those two cables? With the red tip. I think that should be it. Doesn't look too dirty to me. So at this point, if you have the MAF sensor spray cleaner, then you should spray on all these parts inside and try to get those wires clean to prevent anything going inside here I'm just going to cover it with the nylon while I go and clean the mud sensor I've given the sensor a quick clean and now I'm going to reinstall it. So you can see there is an arrow here that points the direction of airflow. I'm going to line up this tab with this equal section, both here and here. Not too tight. And then we can plug this connector back. And this is how the MAF sensor is cleaned and maintained. Now I didn't show the exact method of spraying on the sensor itself because I didn't have the spray. I went ahead and used a little bit of 99% um, alcohol. Um, don't follow that method, I'm just a DIYer, I don't want to invest so much money before I know this is actually the problem. Follow the video that the description below to find out exactly how to spray clean that sensor. So in the car we don't have any specific light, I've switched it on and uh, we're idling. Yeah, we're idling okay. The needle isn't moving up and down that much. So I'm going to drive it around now with the MAF sensor cleaned and uh, update if I still have the, the rough idle when I get to the stop, to the traffic lights. Okay, take care.